don't need clarity. Cause you are the piece of me I wish I didn't need Chasing relentlessly Still fight and I don't know why If our love is tragedy Let me put this out here to you. Y'all might well stop asking me why I ain't gonna say nothing. Why you ain't say nothing? Why you ain't try to get clarity? Why you ain't try to rationalize? Why you ain't reach out? Why you ain't go by there? All you had to do was this and that. Listen, I want you to understand that this season of my life right here, baby, not hearing from me is my response. Not hearing from me is my reply. Not hearing from me is my rebuttal. That's my lick back right there. Not giving you the power of my response. Everything don't require my response. It don't require my attention. It don't require my energy or my effort understand that i'm my own assignment in this year season of my life it's project me that's just how i'm moving like it or not i don't care who i walk away from this season of my life baby i'm making myself my own star player stop scrolling if you're confused or need clarity on anything don't stress let's pray about it and take it to god father this person on the other side of the screen they need you they need your clarity, they need your guidance, they need your wisdom, they need your presence, and they need answers from you. So on their behalf, I'm asking that you would give them the answers that they're looking for. If it's a no, rid them of every distraction standing in their path. If it's a yes, make it a clear and loud yes in their ears. And God, you are the Prince of Peace. Anything that comes from you brings clarity. Anything that does not come from you brings confusion. So help them to decipher what it is that is of you and what it is that is not of you. God, we thank you in advance for these answers. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hello. I hope you're doing good today, y'all. Listen, I have a message from the Lord, and I'm just going to read it, and I'm going to hit start. All right, okay. It said, I am doing a new thing in your life. Do you not perceive it? Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. I will go before you and will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. I will be... I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron. You need only to be still. I will go before you and fight for you. I am your help in trouble. Listen, what the father is trying to say is you don't have to lift a finger. The battle is not yours to carry, to, to fight. You need to let go and let God have his way. Be still and know that he is God, he said, because he will fight the battle for you. Your job is to bring the problems to him and take your hands off of it, knowing and trusting that he will work all things out for your good. See, when you stop worrying and you let God have his way, that when that is when he can begin to do what he have to do. Vengeance is the Lord's. Stop worrying and stressing yourself about things that you're not in control of. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He know the plans to prosper you and not to cause you harm. You have to believe in him and have faith in him. I don't care what it look like right now. Know that he's going to make a way out of no way. Know that he won't leave you hanging, that he brought you out the last time. So he's going to bring you out this time. Stop worrying about things because it's looking rocky right now. Baby, he said he make the crooked places straight. So you don't have no reason to worry about anything. Your job is to believe and have trust in him and have faith and not let your faith waver. See, the enemy wants you to forfeit your blessing, but you got to keep holding on to his unchanging hand, to the Lord's unchanging hand, because he is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He will not change on you. I don't care how it look right now. He's going to make a way for you. And you got to believe that. You got to know that he will fight the battle for you. Listen, that is all. I love you with the love of the Lord. Y'all be blessed. Hi, my babies. I hope you have the most amazing day filled with love in every way. We know this world is not getting better. There's no sugarcoating this. This is no peaches and cream video. This isn't for the faint of heart. And this isn't to spread fear either. 
But I keep getting this vision of um, the Little Mermaid, um, Ursula, the song, Poor Unfortunate Souls, and her eels going around these people, surrounding these, mer these mermaids that she has made a contract with, and now she's coming for her payment. A lot of people in the future, in the near future, people are coming for their payment. They signed that contract. And now their time is up. They must pay the due. See, a lot of people didn't know what they were signing, right? It's like a contract, but you didn't read the fine lines. You didn't do your research. You didn't investigate. And now, now the time is up. The payment is due. And you don't have it. You don't have it. You don't have the money to pay it. Poor, unfortunate souls. What they didn't bargain for. Was the fact that they couldn't work this off. That there's no way to get rid of this debt. There's no way to get rid of the debt. So this darkness is taking over them, circling their body inside and outside. We have to be a light for those people. It's going to be a dark winter, but we have to be the light. I love you. God loves you. Perfected faces done by Candy two four two three nine five zero one two five. Tell us all as time, true as it can be. Just a little change Small to say the least Both a little scared Neither one prepared Beauty and the beast Ever just a stand Ever a surprise Yeah.